Fans of Cobra Kai are in for a treat since season 5 will be making its debut sooner than we thought. And in line with this, we took it upon ourselves to share with you the latest on what to expect this time around. From what we heard, a certain Cobra Kai season 5 actor teased several details regarding Samantha's romance. If you're curious to know more, then make sure you keep on watching if you don't want to miss out. Mary Mauser, who plays Samantha LaRusso in season 5 of Cobra Kai, discloses some details about the romantic story that will be included with her character. Star of Cobra Kai Mary Mauser shares information about Samantha's love story in season 5. Cobra Kai, which is set 34 years after Johnny Lawrence, William Zabka, loses to Daniel LaRusso, Ralph Macchio, in the 1984 All-Valley Tournament after The Karate Kid, has been a huge hit for Netflix since the streaming giant snatched it up from the YouTube Red platform. Cobra Kai, a TV series created by John Horwitz and Josh Heald, centers on Johnny and his quest to re open his former dojo as a sensei. The series, which continues to be a hit in mainstream culture, has a fresh intake of karate pupils, including Samantha LaRusso, the daughter of Daniel Mauser. It also focuses on the enduring rivalry between Johnny and Daniel. The fourth season of Cobra Kai, which was released on Netflix last year, featured Terry Silver, the antagonist from Karate Kid 3, Thomas Ian Griffith, after the Cobra Kai, Miyagi-Do, and Eagle Fangle rivalry disintegrated at the All-Valley Tournament, Samantha Mauser, Tori Payton List, Miguel Solo Mariduena and Robbie Tanner Buchanan experienced twists and turns. In a recent interview, Mauser shared specifics on what we could expect about Samantha's love life this upcoming season of Cobra Kai. In an interview with Deadline, Mauser discusses Samantha's love life in detail and expresses her belief that her season 5 arc will make people happy. Samantha, according to Mauser, has much bigger fish to fry than boys at the moment and a family legacy to honor. In my opinion, Samantha has much bigger fish to fry than boys at the moment. The actress revealed, I think she's got a family legacy to figure out at the moment, maybe. We'll see. Samantha's love life is one of my favorite things because I just get to have so much fun hanging out with my friends on set and I get to call it work. I think people will be happy. Fans at Cobra Kai will have to wait to see if Samantha and Robbie can revive their brooding relationship from season 2 for the time being. Cobra Kai season 5 has a lot of loose ends to tie up after the conclusion of season 4 saw Terry Silver betray John Kreese or Martin Cove, Chosen or Yuji Ukamoto team up with Daniel, and Samantha's karate journey taking an unexpected turn. The season 5 Netflix premiere is scheduled for September 9, 2022. After the events of season 4, Samantha may not be thinking about her love life at all, but as Mauser said, it would still be important in the forthcoming episode. The Karate Kid franchise's original cast members are sprinkled across the hit series' seasons, which consistently surpassed their predecessors thanks to the exciting plot twists that are revealed for their main characters. The original Karate Kid fans' interest has been maintained by Cobra Kai while also capturing the interest of a whole new generation with its continual supply of new storylines, action sequences, and obstacles. According to Mauser's remarks, for the first time being, viewers may anticipate seeing Samantha struggle with the results of the All-Valley Tournament while balancing her complex feelings for Robbie and Miguel. In September, Cobra Kai Season 5 will be available on Netflix. Now, let's Let's discuss another exciting feature the show will exhibit this season 5, which is the return of one Daniel LaRusso's rivals turned friends, Chosen. The question is, how come Chosen seems to be stronger in Cobra Kai than in the original Karate Kid film? The fact that Chosen was unable to defeat Daniel in the Karate Kid Part 2 shows just how different Chosen has become since joining Cobra Kai. Chosen is without a doubt one of the series' top karate experts. Few, if any, of the characters were currently featured in the Karate Karate Kid series have what it takes to defeat him in a fight. Chosen's skill set and his simple defeat of Daniel in Cobra Kai Season 3 proved that the reformed bad guy is a force to be taken seriously. He could probably defeat Johnny, William Zabka, and Chris Martin Cove as well because he is unquestionably superior to Daniel. Because of how he is portrayed and his abilities, Cobra Kai Season 5's possible clash between him and Terry Silver, Thomas Ian Griffith, is such an intriguing possibility. Chosen has a feeling that he has has the best chance of defeating Silver in a battle based on what he can do in Cobra Kai. So, how exactly did he better himself now in Cobra Kai? The extent of Chosen's fighting prowess begs the question of how he grew to be such a strong fighter. Chosen's failure to prevail in the decisive battle in the Karate Kid Part 2 naturally places him below the skill levels of Daniel, Terry Silver, John Kreese, and even Mike Barnes from the Karate Kid Part 3, who posed a far greater threat to Daniel than Chosen did. Chosen has spent 
a lot of time honing his Miyagi-Do training, which is why his position has changed so substantially. Chosen has dedicated his time and effort to honing his karate techniques in the years since he was defeated in the Karate Kid Part 2. It's vital to keep in mind how drastically Chosen's life differs from that of characters like Daniel, Johnny, Terry, and Kreese between the Karate Kid trilogy and Cobra Kai. Only one of the five Karate Kid characters has never taken a vacation from his practice. The other four quit training at unknown junctures in their life and only resumed training during Cobra Kai's narrative. Chosen, in sharp contrast to them, never ceased honing his fighting skills. Chosen was able to catch up to and exceed Daniel thanks to his distinction. Chosen is a fantastic illustration of how talented someone can become after decades of dedicated martial arts training, such like Pat Morita's Mr. Miyagi. Chosen has developed into a strong fighter who just might be able to defeat Terry Silver because of his dedication to Miyagi-Do Karate. In such a case, his expertise might be what aids Daniel's team to defeat the antagonist in Cobra Kai Season 5. Although the creators have not discussed how the series will conclude, several fans have started sharing their theories on how Cobra Kai will end. The series finale of Cobra Kai may be a little off, but one meta fan speculation for the episode is just too amazing to pass up. Cobra Kai has yet to reveal how many seasons it will have, but one notion already reveals the show's ideal conclusion. References and callbacks to the first three Karate Kid movies abound in Cobra Kai. Although the program does not rely solely on nostalgia, Cobra Kai Season 1 has the Karate Kid legacy as its motto, which the show honors to this day. After so many interpersonal conflicts, not to mention the conflicts between the various karate dojos, there isn't really a better ending for Cobra Kai, whatever it is, other than Daniel, Johnny, and their students truly uniting in one dojo. This is something that is definitely confirmed for Cobra Kai Season 5. For example, Miguel and Robbie will fight as revealed by the Cobra Kai Season 5 trailer. A certain Redditor predicts that Cobra Kai will end with the establishment of a Karate Kid dojo. Even though it was anticipated to happen in Season 4, it appears that more time will still pass before all of those people can collaborate effectively. In fact, a fan theory from Reddit that surfaced before the release of Season 4 contended that Daniel and Johnny's united dojo might be called the Karate Kids, or that at least one of the pupils would propose the name. There is a chance that the fourth and final season of Cobra Kai will end with a new dojo being established for all the young characters. It would be named the Karate Kids, or something similar even though that didn't happen in Season 4. Rivalries were a cornerstone of the Cobra Kai and Karate Kid sagas, both on and off the fighting mat. The establishment of a single dojo that somehow integrates the traditions and principles of both Daniel LaRusso's Miyagi-Do and Johnny Lawrence's enhanced Cobra Kai would therefore be the best conclusion for Cobra Kai once the show runs out of stories. The Karate Kids would be the ideal name for the new dojo that would be established for all the young characters if Cobra Kai were to truly come to an end. That would undoubtedly be a meta reference to the original film, but it wouldn't seem cheap. Cobra Kai is renowned for its meta jokes and allusions to the Karate Kid story, but the program has figured out how to incorporate fan service while still keeping the plot moving. There are a lot more theories we could dive into, but unfortunately, we've already run out of time. And with that, we're concluding today's video on what to know about Cobra Kai Season 5. Do you have your own theories for the show? Let us know in the comment section below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. Thanks for watching and see you next time.